All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about kinetic and potential energy. Part of this is going to be a review. In our last PBL, we talked about energy and energy transformation, and one of those was mechanical energy, which was, you know, the energy of things that are moving. Well, mechanical energy is actually further broken down into kinetic and potential, so we're going to go into detail for those. So let's talk about potential energy first. Potential energy is that energy which an object has become of, of its position. It is called potential energy because it has the potential to be converted into other forms as energy, such as kinetic. So potential is named that way because it has the potential to become another type of energy. So let's write the definition. The definition for potential energy is energy that is stored in a system because of its position or chemistry. And we're definitely going to explain what that means. So the way you need to think about it is potential energy is the energy of things that are not moving. They have the potential to move. So again, make sure you're writing just the definition. So here are some examples of potential energy. Any spring, okay, if you take a spring and you set it on a table, it's just going to sit there. But if I were to apply a force to it or add pressure to it, then it's going to spring back and release that energy. Because that energy was there the entire time, it was just stored. A baseball pitcher winding up to get ready to throw that ball. He is taking all that energy, and even though the ball is not moving, it has the potential to. So at that moment, it's potential energy. When the position of an object is altered, it creates potential energy. When you lift up on a yo-yo, its position is altered. It now has the ability or the potential to do work. So here are some more examples. So just add this to your examples um, with the springs and the baseball pitcher. Rubber bands. Rubber bands are a great example of potential energy because there's energy in there because I can go into a rubber band and I can stretch it and contract it and stretch it and contract it. It always has that potential to move so therefore it is potential energy. A target, once the arrows hit the target and they are at rest and no longer moving, that is potential. More examples, like we said, stretching a rubber band that stores energy. The water at the top of a waterfall, pretty much the greater the height, the more potential and energy has. So that's definitely going to come in when we get into roller coasters. A yo-yo and drawing a bow. All of these have in common is that they all are storing energy. When you draw a bow, you're pulling it back. As soon as you release it, that's not potential energy anymore because it's moving, but it does have the potential to move. So make sure you include all of these examples in your notes. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. So let's go into chemical, uh, chemistry energy. You don't really need to write any of this down because we've already done so, but I need to bring it in as a review. Remember how we talked about there is chemical energy? That's what we're talking about today. Wood, coal, oil, gas. These all have energy stored in the bonds of their atoms. And when that um, bond is released, the energy is released. So let's talk about chemical or chemical uh, chemistry energy. So how does chemistry create energy? Think of a pile of wood that you set on fire. How is that wood an example of potential energy? Well, there was energy inside that wood the entire time. Once you set it on fire, it is released, and that is what is the energy that keeps the fire going. So therefore, it can be a form of potential. So imagine next to your fire you get warm and the logs start to go from wood to ash, which is a chemical reaction. But how does that wood have potential energy? The wood has stored it and released it when it's burned. So that goes from stored energy, which again is always going to be potential. So this is just kind of a review. You really shouldn't have to write any of this down. So now let's talk about how potential energy is converted into kinetic energy, and this is going to be important. When stored energy begins to move, the object now transfers that potential energy into kinetic energy. So when a person is standing still, like this picture, 
they have the potential to move. They're just not at that time. They're storing their energy. So therefore, they have potential energy. But when they start running, they have turned all that potential into kinetic, to move. So kinetic and potential are the exact opposite. Potential is always stored, non-moving energy. Kinetic is always using motion energy. If something is moving, it is kinetic. If it has the ability to move but is not, it is potential. So let's go into kinetic energy. Definitely write the definition. And along with potential, why don't you put like a bubble cloud around these two definitions so that they will stand out to you in your C notes. So kinetic energy is the energy in motion or the energy of any moving object. Pretty easy to think of. If it's moving, it has kinetic energy because kinetic actually means to move in Latin. So here are some examples of kinetic energy. Again, you'll need to write these down. Running, burning fire, burning wood, rocks falling, anything falling, anything moving is kinetic energy. So how does wood burning have kinetic energy? Back to that fire. When the wood is burning, it is releasing that stored energy. And that released energy is known as kinetic. So this is an example of the wood itself being potential and the wood being on fire is kinetic. So it is an example of how potential is converted into kinetic. Because remember that law of conservation of energy? Energy cannot be created nor can it be destroyed. It can only be changed and transferred. So here's some more examples of kinetic energy. Shooting the rubber band. Now, not stretching it. Remember, that is potential, but shooting it. Water flowing over the fall. Now, remember how we said that water at the very top is potential, and then it actually falling down, that is kinetic. The yo-yo in motion. Not the yo-yo at the top of the run or at the bottom where it kind of hovers for a second, but when it's actually moving and releasing the arrow. Now notice all of these examples are the same ones we did for potential, but with a different action, showing you how easily potential and kinetic can convert back and forth. So summary of what you've learned. Let's go through some ideas. Holding a bowling ball in your hand. Right now, and actually on the left hand side in your journal, I want you to write this and then I want you to tell me kinetic or potential. Holding a bowling ball in your hand. A coin sitting on a paper over a cup. Write that on the left-hand side. Kinetic or potential. Remember, potential is not moving. Kinetic is moving. And I'm going to check these tomorrow in class. Okay, so let's do this activity together. I love this website. Okay, we're going to go into roller coasters because obviously, you know, for this PBL, we are definitely going to be building a roller coaster. So what I want you to notice is as you look at this simulation, I want you to see where you have potential energy and where you have kinetic. Potential will be pink and kinetic will be red. So let's start it. Okay, notice as we're going up oop, and then down, up, down. Okay. So now I'm going to go potential, 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 full potential, kinetic, potential, kinetic, potential, kinetic. So I want you to kind of write a summary. And if you need to rewind this many times, we're going to start this discussion in class tomorrow. And we're going to go through the simulation again. So I really want you to have a good idea of in a roller coaster, where is their kinetic energy and where is their potential? So looking at this baseball uh, being thrown up in the air, right here, as the baseball is moving, it is kinetic energy. But the kinetic energy is decreasing. As the kinetic energy decreases, the potential energy increases. They're always going to be tied to each other. It's like a scale. If one side goes up, the other side goes down, an even amount. That's like kinetic and potential. They will always be directly related to each other and directly opposite. So, for example, if I was to say that right here, this is the maximum amount of potential energy, then it has to be the minimum amount of kinetic energy. Down here, it is the maximum amount of kinetic, so therefore it is the minimum amount of potential. 
So where do you think it would be 50-50? I want you to draw this picture in your notes of the baseball, and I want you to circle the two baseballs where you feel that kinetic and potential energy are equal. And that's where we're going to leave off. So tomorrow I'm definitely going to be checking your notes and we're going to um, start talking about kinetic and potential and especially applying that into our roller coasters. So I'll see you tomorrow.